Zamba, John Numbers. Now, last <laughs> week we saw Zamba go, or not Zamba, we saw Numbers go with this Mii Sword Fighter against Zamba. Uh, really just not a fan of Wii Fit Rob. And it actually was pretty close. It was game three. I respect John Numbers' Me Sword Fighter a lot. Oh, this is for not, sure. He, he does not pick this character up and be like, I don't like the matchup. Let me just, uh. No, he specifically is like, this is exactly why this character does better in a matchup if he picks it. And it's really interesting that he's finally decided to pull that trigger uh, in the Rob matchup. I had known that for a long time. He was basically, uh, he exclusively used this character against Ness. But. We'll see how it ends up faring for him. I assume that he didn't actually take it last week when he tried it. Um, but this time around, we'll see if things will have changed at all. Oh, Oof. what was that? It does not look like too much change. But um, yeah, last week it was game three, and it was definitely pretty close. But uh, Zamba did take it. That being said, I, I agree with what you're saying. It's it's not almost like the Wii, uh, the Mii Sword Fire is a counter pick. It's like you gotta push numbers to that point. You got you gotta beat numbers so much to where he's like, yeah, I'm gonna try Mii Sword Fighter now. But it's like usually before he even picks the character up, he has a very distinct game plan with how he's going to use it. And I'm curious to see if we could figure out what that game plan is just from watching him here at the moment. Ooh, well that's definitely one thing Mii Sword Fighter has over Wii Fit, a reflector like that. Yeah. Yeah, that reflector is amazing. It's like Mario's cape, but a lot less laggy and it's probably faster too. Um, it definitely was something that Numbers utilized a ton last week. Staying in like a mid-range setting and using that cape means that Rob cannot uh, st stop you with projectiles, but rather has to like go in with a jump or uh, with a grounded approach. Yeah, and speaking of jump approaches, that forward air we're seeing from John Numbers is such a fantastic anti-air option. It's a multi-hit move that stays out for forever, and also just nice solid disjoint. But at this point, what <laughs> what use is an anti-air if you can't even get yourself back on the ground? Oh, and that small laser almost doing it. Yeah, this is a really tough spot. 185, and now down two stocks. This thing about me, Sword Fighter, is um, besides that, like tornado confirm, it doesn't end the um, side B confirms. If they're um, you kind of have to get a read to get the kill, and so we finally saw a nice F tilt on ledge gonna take it, but 185 was way too late. Oh, he saved him. I'm pretty sure he was not making that back without Zomba's help right there. So help given, you know, <laughs> but uh. It might have been all for naught because he still just can't get off the ledge. 106%. The damage is only growing. I don't know if he has a jump. Oh, it doesn't oh, matter oh, if you oh. have a jump. You're too far down there. That's it. Wow, what an edge guard from Zomba. Yeah, the confidence from Zomba right there, definitely not the same as it was last week. Uh, he's, you know, he's he's a young player, but he's a very studied player. He looks at the VODs. He, he tries to think about how things went so he could change it up. So I, I yeah. would not be surprised if he saw that last week's set and kind of figured out a bit of what numbers he's going to go for. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised about the Wii Fit Trainer switch. The other thing is that normally, normally when Ro when uh, John Numbers picks up the Mii Sword Fighter, he has a very distinct game plan in mind, and it felt like in that in that game that just couldn't materialize. So it makes sense why you know it definitely didn't work. And go back to the Wii Fit. Yes, this matchup is it sticks. It's very hard for Wii Fit, but you have a game plan that you can work on. It's a difficult one, but John Numbers has made it succeed in the past. Let's see if he can recreate that here. Yeah, it, it, going back to how much it stinks, it, it's really like Wii Fit Numbers can't play his game against Rob. You know, his game is so like famous of those ledge plays, the like really like stationary gameplay, but Rob just has the tools to totally stop you from being stationary. Whether it be the fade back Nair totally invalidating the side beat, or um, just playing a gyro and we fit space. Yeah, not only that, I've heard John Numbers use the phrase himself that Rob is a zoner that beats other zoners. Between, you know, the use of gyro, the transcendence, the fact that, that oh man. And look at that, as soon as he's trapped in the corner, he just eats so much damage. I'm back here finishing it off. John felt like he had a good read on what he needed to do. Well, you know, managing to clean up that stock means that this is not going to run away from him. But nonetheless, it still does feel like Zomba. Uh, he, he, he knows how to just turn these things around in a way that John doesn't.
That being said, 75% on Zamba, that is the power of deep breathing. But it, uh, it's, so unfor it's so fortunate for numbers that we got that up there because we saw how much Zamba can run away with a lead. But um, right here, when Weefit has the lead, that whole uh, Rob shutting down um, her game plan becomes a lot less valuable. To a certain degree, but at the same time, it means that John can't just rely on what he normally does when he has a stock lead, or a percentage lead, rather. You know, he still has to be mindful about Gyro, about Laser, and ooh! That was actually kind of cute. Didn't really get much off of it, but uh, oh no. Yeah, Numbers has learned Gyro counterplay out of pure hate for this <laughs> character. He's made sure to be so good at using Gyro. <laughs> Where did you learn to use this gyro? I learned it from watching you. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I really don't know anyone who dislikes Rob more than John Numbers. And I'm sure that up till 50-50 DI up air is one of those reasons. But still pretty even if you can just get your footing right here. But this could be a chance for Zamba to tack up so much percent. Oh, or that's no John Numbers. He still is just such a good player at the ledge. Even against Rob, he's able to turn it into his own advantage. 109% on Zomba. Still not able to find his way back down to the ground. Now with deep breathing, he is at death percent from honestly quite a few options from We Fit. This deep breathing right here is going to be so vital, but Zamba able to get Wii Fit at ledge during this 15 seconds and just going away in time for that fair. Oh man, that F tilt without deep breathing is not going to be enough to take it. And now we have, you know, Zomba at 150%. Oh no, he has deep breathing. It'll be a little bit of a buff to his uh, defenses as well. But he needs to find some way to end this stock. A late back air is not going to be doing it. I think Numbers was going for an up air right there, but I got stuffed out. And now this is so terrifying. You can easily lose your stock if you're Zamba, as that was insane how fast Numbers was able to get back on the stage from that F tilt. I do like the fact that you saw the way he forward air, he crossed up, and Zamba knew that he was crossing up with that forward air, which is why he dropped shield. Uh, if we can get a nice replay on this, it was a super deep forward air, like super deep. Yeah, so he dropped shield because he knew he needed to turn around to actually punish him. So, great just awareness and pressure. The fact that Rob doesn't have a great, you know, way to punish cross-ups, especially if he doesn't have gyro, uh, is something that John is able to exploit and evening up the game count here. You know, so far, if you think about it, John is currently up 1-0 against Zomba in this matchup. Yeah, which is not the most common sight to see, but can you do it twice is the big question right here, because Zomba, I think, definitely knows what number is going to go for now oh. for sure but oh i not sure if that was i mean I, I trust john numbers in terms of what his punish game is and what he's looking for but i mean 92 percent is nothing to scoff at all right there numbers being really aware of how much rob's like to use that laser jumping over it it's going to be so important to avoid that like 25 percent from that did you see the weave he unfortunately landed on stage which Zumba was ready for that time but, oh man, couldn't weave past that one. Gorgeous stuff. Zomba finally managing to take the stock on that edge guard. John gonna go way deep for it. I like the fact he stalled with the side B, but Zomba responded by going way higher than John could have ever reached him. Right here, this is, I think, where the match can totally get out of control for John numbers, and that is one reason why you know, that's just that's just why Rob's top tier right there. Pl <laughs> plain and simple. Listen, uh, that that was not changed during the most recent patch, so it is in the game it's for forever. forever. <laughs> and right here, you know, look at Zamba going insanely high in the air, stalled, like just doing fade back nares and such. Doing a game plan where you're pretty much impenetrable, and when you're up two stocks, it's it numbers would have to only make such like good consistent reads to make this comeback, and it's just getting worse. Yeah. Oh, and you see panic spot dodges. Those are the sorts of options that Zomba is going to notice them sooner or later, and doesn't even uh, doesn't just doesn't <laughs> yeah. just doesn't. I cannot uh, blame him after that side B. Um, uh, it's, yeah. it's so hard to regain Keep in confidence. Mind, he was up by so much. He was up 90 to, like, he was 10. Something yeah. like that. And then with a, uh, just a, taking that stock, and then the fact that that side beat killed him at 30? Was it 30%?
Roughly. Yeah. See right here. This is the first stock. Yeah. A really good down air. Extra, you had mentioned how, oh, Zomba can really run away with a stock lead if you don't take it back immediately. <laughs> I mean, that's what we saw right there. 41%. Well, when did it start? Started. It started at like 30, right? Yeah, it probably neared around like 25, 30. Um, and, and Air Dodge Reed with the gyro was able to get that deep side B. And, but what you were saying was absolutely right about that game three is numbers started off doing like a 92% combo or so. But the thing is, actually, that stock, after numbers did that combo, he didn't get a single hit in. So that's just, I think, showing a difference in a, like ability to keep advantage in this matchup. Rob can hold Wii Fit down and keep her there until the stock's gone. But other, on the other hand, Wii Fit cannot do that with Rob nearly as much because of that ability to just straight up fly away. 